Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. This is video three. That's right, three of three. And you are amazing. And don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise or make you feel otherwise. The fact that you even exist is amazing in itself. And that's just the start of it. And remember, it's like what I say to many people, you may feel differently about yourself, but being amazing, looking amazing, being beautiful does not have to be polished. There is nothing and nobody who has the right to distinguish what or determine exactly what being beautiful is. Remember that. You are. So, look, I've got this in front of me. This is Delphi case. The Delphi case. <gasps> wow. What a case. What a case. It's been going on for years. What is it, seven years now? About seven years. And Richard Allen, we've watched since he was put away, put inside, because they found a bullet casing, spent bullet casing, that they feel that had been that had rotated through one of his weapons, but it was found between the girls at the crime scene. And it would eventually lead them to do a search. They would find multiple other things, conveniently, that would lead them to believe that this was their guy. Despite having other people that they'd looked at, and the FBI apparently feeling that this was a ritualistic killing, and this guy had no connection to ritualistic killings or the ritualistic things, Norse or Odinism, any of that, nothing. And like I say, we're only listening to what has coming out recently about this Odinism connection and all that. But apparently that's what was being said. But we've watched Richard Allen deteriorate. He is only half the man he used to be. And I mean that physically he's not half the man that he used to be. Or he is half the man he used to be. He looks like... He's fucked. I was trying to put it some other polite way, but he looks ruined. Absolutely ruined. He looks like a prisoner of war. Um, but anyway, so in the, ne in the last few hours, his defence team have quit. Pff, gone. Pff. Disappeared like a fart in the wind. Now, some people turn around and said to me they think they've quit because of financial reasons, insolvency or something like that. But the, the news, the headlines is that they have quit because of leaked photographs of the crime scene. Leaked photographs, and I've got it here. Delphi murder suspect Richard Allen's lawyers sensationally quit after gruesome pictures of the crime scene were leaked to the public, forcing the judge to find a new trial date. Delphi murder suspect Richard Allen's lawyers have sensationally quit, quit after gruesome pictures of the crime scene were leaked to the public, forcing the judge to find a new trial date. Um, Richard Allen, 50, is accused of killing Libby German, 14, Abby Williams, 13, while they were hiking through Indiana's Delphi historic trails on the 13th of February 2017. Did you know, my birthday is February the 13th, and that's why I've always sort of... I've never done videos on this, but there was just I felt close to this case. The bodies were discovered the next day, and the case puzzled police for years until a bullet found at the bloody crime scene linked Allen to the slayings in 2022. And it says Judge Frank Gull called a hearing on Thursday to address other matters which have recently arisen after pictures of the crime scene were made public, allegedly via a leak from the defence team. After a short delay, Judge Gull announced that the hearing wouldn't be taking place because the defence attorneys Andrew Baldwin and Bradley Rotsey had quit. Boof. Gone. So, they were court-appointed attorneys set to represent Alan in his murder trial, but withdrew their counsel today in an unexpected turn of events, Dole said. Alan was sent back to Westfield Correctional Facility on Thursday as a result, and he will now have to be given new attorneys to plead his case in court. Alan's trial was set for January the 8th, 2024, but this will now be delayed. It was suspected that the trial may have been delayed anyway if the judge found that the serious evidence leak indeed did come from the defence team. The images allegedly came from a former employee of attorney Andrew Baldwin. Baldwin has not commented, citing a court-enforced gag order. 
We do love that. Ahead of today's hearing, another defence lawyer, David Hennessy, came to the aid of Baldwin, argued in a legal filing that he should be allowed to continue defending Allen despite the leak. Hennessy called the evidence leak a horrible tragedy created by persons not related to the defence of Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen has developed a strong and trusting bond with Mr. Baldwin. Disqualification of either of his court-appointed attorneys could really prejudice his right to counsel and a timely trial. Um, Hennessy, who clearly made the filing before Baldwin ultimately decided to quit, said the lawyer was betrayed and that Baldwin kept all Delphi-related items locked in a room or a locked fireproof cabinet. Following the sensational turn of events, Judge Gull requested that Allen's former attorneys assist his new defence team and all evidence gets handed over to the state in the interim. There will be a new hearing on October 31st. How is this going to help? It's just one thing after another with this case. One thing after another after another. But this ain't good. This is not good for Richard Allen. Not good at all. And you have to kind of think to yourself, why would this information have been leaked? Would it have been leaked in order to cause this damage? Um, or was it someone who was trying to prove a point in order to show people that if you look at the crime scene, you can clearly see that this was ritualistic in nature? Did they have good intentions and it just backfired? Who knows? But we will no doubt in the next few weeks start to learn of the repercussions to this situation. But here we go. Richard Allen is still inside and in... <laughs> In my sceptical mind, I just feel like things keep happening to delay, to delay, to delay. Because when you look at how Richard Allen is deteriorating, is he going to last long enough to appear in court? And is that the idea all along? Like I say, I'm a sceptic. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll catch you all actually uh, just over the weekend isn't it have a fantastic weekend have a fantastic weekend and i will catch you at some point yeah see you then